Good. Oh, I thought you were I have me. not seen you for ages. Ages. Ages and oh, ages, mate. And ages and ages and ages. Ages. I'm in Spain at the moment. You are in Spain at the moment. I feel like we're doing one of those Christmas uh, pre-recorded things. Well, we should even, get some alcohol what out. What is weird, even though they're all pre-recorded, obviously, Yeah. it still feels like a pre-record. I know. Because, which, because people at home right now will know what the final is in the World Cup. Who won? Oh, my God. Which is at the semi-finals. Loads right of stuff would have happened at the time this has gone out. We're having to pre-record it because Josh... But pre-pre-record. Pre-pre-record it because Josh is um in, in Spain seeing his lovely wife. Oh, my lovely withy. It is Spain, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yes, yes. Points it is. to me. It is, it is Spain. I won't say where in case uh, anyone stalks me. Stalkers! But speaking of that, actually, it does remind <laughs> me of something <laughs> insane that my mum said to me earlier. Right. Oh, you, so oh, you just... Oh, my oh, mum uh, is pretty... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and and then that's it. So, something, uh, my mum's pretty insane. So, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> so, hi, Josh's mum. Hi, mum. She's kind of <laughs> mental, right? And uh, in a good way. Oh. She's like, I've just been looking online. There's a new threat. Kiss. <gasps> no. Some say just the USA, but different airlines doing the same. They can take your device and still let you fleasend. I don't know what she meant. What? They can... She's written, fleasened. Right. Then you pay to get it back. Dot, 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 dot. Off to work. Dot, 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 dot. Who? What? So my mum is basically saying there's this thing of this new terror threat and that you have to have enough battery on your phone for the, to prove that your phone is a working phone and it's not something dodgy. Enough battery? And if it oh, really? Because fake phone, phones don't have enough battery, do Well, they? if your phone isn't charged, if it doesn't turn on, then they'll take your phone away or you won't be allowed to fly. It's a new regulation. There's some. So I said to my mum, that's just a way to get more money out of you. We're living in a police state. I've, I thought I'd wind it off a bit. Yeah. An Orwellian nightmare. They track our every move, our oh every thought. God. I want to live on a remote island. And about 20 minutes later, she just texts back and said, Portsmouth, question <laughs> <laughs> mark. But, anyway, she, huh? but she wasn't joking. That's the best th- thing really? about it. She Portsmouth? Is that genuinely right? sincere. And then also, for the past couple of weeks now, she's been saying... I really want to download the podcast. Oh, how do you do it? My parents and haven't listened. She doesn't. She can't figure out how to how to do it. And I've been telling her. Anyway, eventually, yeah, she's, she's done, done it. it. And, and funnily enough, about two hours ago, <laughs> just before I came round to see you, she sent me the, a review. Of no, the first two episodes. Oh, bless her. She probably thinks this is how you'd review yeah. it. You t- just you sent, sent me a text. Sent you a text. But I forgot to say, the first podcast was all right. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Josh. <laughs> the, 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 the second was brilliant. The second oh, was brilliant. Thank it was you. so funny. But would be better <laughs> with something else. Why don't you do what a... What do you mean? Right? Why don't you do a guest appearance? Uh. Dot, dot, dot. Me, capital letters. <laughs> She's trying to cut me out. Yeah. <laughs> She's she trying is. to do what you're afraid of. I'm going to do to you. She is. Would be something better with something It's going to be the Josh and First Josh's mum First one was all right, because Jeremy talked a bit more. But <laughs> well, when you got to talk in the second one, it, it was a lot better. And I then, just I want my baby to do all the talking. <laughs> you should just do the Josh show. No! <laughs> I can't believe she said it's yeah, pretty funny. was all right. It's funny. Well done. So I'm, funny. Ar- I'm happy with the all right, though, because that's our best critic, isn't it? I guess. And parents. also, the second one she said was really good. Yeah. She, she literally used the word brilliant. When I talk to people about the show who have listened to it, if I meet them, yeah, meet them, Jesus Christ, all three of them, all three of them, they often say, "Can I come on?" They often say, "Oh, can I be a guest?" Can I I, you on? say, "Of course not." <laughs> <laughs> it's the Josh and Jez yeah. show, who do you not think with you are? special guests. Yeah. No, but I think I would like—I would like to in- bring people on board. But like, yeah, they, in they five minutes, they yeah. have to be famous. Don't yeah, they? yeah, they do have to be famous. <laughs> so if you're famous and listen to this, <laughs> climb on board because like, we won't have you on unless you're famous. Because uh, what's the point, you know? the point. Hi, hello, I'm here. This is Mr. Well, and you're 
and you're listening to Josh and Jess show. And this is a little Josh and Jess, a little jingle. So, if you've got emails you want to send to Josh and Jess, send it to the Josh and Jess show at yahoo.com. And remember, you're listening to Josh and Jess, a jingle. Hey, you know you just said your mum sent a review and we did it by text and we laughed. Yeah. Oh, how we laughed. We did laugh. Uh, we read out a review last week and we said, please. And a couple of um, podcasts ago, we said, you know, write uh, a review and say which one you want us to do it in a sexy voice. Yeah. But we pre pre recorded. So there isn't a lot of more reviews on there to see if anyone has written. Yeah. Josh, please. Or Jeremy, there is a please, couple more brackets. reviews on there. There is. And uh, I I bet just... let's, let's just anticipate who would win. So we'll do the sexy voices again. Oh, nice. And then if they don't want to listen to, like i'll say i'm gonna do one yeah start doing one if they don't want to listen to me they just stop listening yeah and if they then you know you know what i'm trying to say yeah i think so so uh, who wants to start first, what we what we're saying in the uh well this one's by tom and so you read you read it out first yeah in your sexy voice and i'll read it out in my sexy <coughs> voice i love it and he gets to just decide which one he likes subject matter all right good work oh bloody hell five stars Oh my god. Crazy. Oh. That was good. Okay. Your turn. Your turn. So this is by a guy called <laughs> I Tom. can't believe we're doing this. Subject ma- subject matter. <laughs> <laughs> Sub- subject subject matter. Oh, that was good work. Oh you ad labbing bastard. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I did ad lib a little bit. I said ad labbing. Ad labbing. And then the uh, the actual the review is. Yep. Smashed it boys. Crazy. Oh, I like your crazy. Oh. I really like your oh. crazy. Oh. I think, well done. I think there should be a prize for the best review. Yeah. And do you know what that prize should be? What? You can come to my lounge oh my God. and watch us record a live podcast. That's a really good Yeah, prize. what about that? Yeah. And you can bring a friend. You mean so studio you wouldn't feel though, weird. right? Yeah, studio. Yeah. My studio. Yeah. And bring a friend. That way it won't feel weird that two guys have got a person around. So, I feel now... <laughs> You're using this podcast for <laughs> ulterior motives. I'll tell you what will be brilliant. If there's any blonde girls listening, like any brunettes, what you should do, right? You should come round and watch me do my show. Like, honestly, mate. No, we'll honestly, have, we don't mind boys coming round. In about 40 years, I don't want a reopening of <laughs> Operation U Tree because of you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we'll set up a camera. That's even worse. <laughs> come round. Be- what I want to do, I'm going to film you. Watching me, watching you? No. Watching me, watching you. Uh-huh. uh-huh. There ain't no bird I won't do. Watching, watching me. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. That was really good. <laughs> but no, but going back to the review thing, this has yeah. turned ever so CD. CD. Horrible. But I if you sweaty. still want that prize, I'm that prize <laughs> is... <laughs> I'm <laughs> sweaty and horrible now. That prize in my head started off really good, yeah. but now it just sounds seedy. But it would be a laugh, but it'd be a bit weird for us. But that would be a nice <laughs> element that would people watching us <laughs> like monkeys. You're a bit of a voyeur, aren't you? Yes. What I want you to do? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to sit. Jeremy's right. We're we're in his studio in his in his in his lounge. <laughs> he's got the there's a balcony yeah. and it looks over to the other side. So what he's going to do? What your prize is going to be? Yeah. Is you're going to I'm going to open the the balcony door. And you're going to sit on the uh, on the house opposite us with binoculars. <laughs> and I want you to watch us with the bino- binoculars. And text us and let us know how we're doing. Yeah, Mate, speaking of texting, yeah. do you remember that any question uh, answered thing, AQA? No. Have you ever done it? No. Oh, what was so it, text thing you, you text? text oh, number, I did do that. And I it have asks done that. who you are. Yeah. Right? We should text it mm. and say, what is the Josh and Jez show? See what they reply. Oh my god! Shouldn't we do that? And we'll do that now. It's Josh and Jez. It's Josh and Jez. It's Josh and Jez. <coughs> oh yeah! I've done it again. <laughs> He's done it again. Press record and then go. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. You're loving it, loving it, loving it. Hey. You're loving it like this. So what we did is we sent a message off to that AQA yeah. thing. And we're just waiting for it. Apparently it's not instantaneous. Because there's lots of little hairy goblins. <laughs> <laughs> that are the, filling out all the uh, uh, information. Yeah, man. Working in a little office. So have we got any other reviews or anything? What's, what's... Uh, no, that is it. Yeah, is that all yep, no, no, we have got other reviews. But we don't want to read them out. Nah, I want to keep them. want to keep them. Keep them in your back pocket. Yeah. 
tell you what happened the other day, Josh. What happened? I was on the way to Henley. Oh, you're so, so, so terribly posh. I know. And for people who don't know who what Henley really is, like me, before I kind of really went there, it's a very posh do with lots of um, rowers. Well, that's the regatta. Henley's a place. Is, yeah, yeah, oh, sorry. Henley, Henley's a place. Well done. Uh, I went to Henley Royal Regatta <laughs> and I was in the stewards enclosure, darling, because my boss who I went with, her husband used to be a rower. So that's the only way you can get in there, by being a rower or a friend of. So there, up yours. So uh, <laughs> went and you have to wear chinos and a um, blazer jacket. Otherwise, you don't go in. What day was that? On a Wednesday Last Wednesday. Last Wednesday. I sat in my pants the entire day. <laughs> <laughs> and I, the, in fact, Mate, it was so hot that day. I, I literally d- walked to the hottest uh, to day. Budgeons. Yeah. And I bought these Mexican <laughs> uh, crispy things like nacho cheese and and, oh, and jalapeno jalapeno flavor. And uh, that was it. I had you know what it reminded me of? Champagne. Burrito man. Burrito man. Burrito man. <laughs> Burrito man, burrito man, burrito man, burrito man. I am the burrito man, burrito man, burrito man. I serve the best guacamole in town, burrito man. Guess who I am? Guess who I am? Guess who I am? Burrito Guess who I am? man. I am the burrito man. So on yeah. the way to Henley, I was just going to say, yeah. I was in a sorry I- in a supermarket. You probably saw my tweet, and a woman. I was in a, 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 the queue, the aisle, not the aisle. Check out. Mm. Oh, thank God, my brain doesn't. What podcast comes and my brain stops working for words. What not, you need? Not, not just podcast time, though, is it, Jeremy? <laughs> it's getting worse every yeah. year. Well, it's because you know mobile yeah. phones. Yeah, mobile phones and all the other stuff. <laughs> 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 anyway, so there I am at the checkout, and uh, this woman keeps staring at me behind me. A woman, yes, it was a woman, and uh, she kept was staring. It a real woman. It was a real woman, yeah. not a fake woman. Oh. And she kept staring, and I thought this woman's f- staring at me. She wasn't young. A she woman. Wa- a woman. She wasn't young, and she wasn't old. Uh, and she kept looking at me and smiling at me, and it's maybe because I had been no age. She had no age, and she was. Um, uh, my brain's done that again where it stops <laughs> i'd been sent in to buy some champagne by the boss lady right, 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 right. and there it was with the checkout and the woman so i thought she was staring at me because i was dressed in chinos and a blazer jacket and buying champagne mm. but that's a conversation starter excuse me she said please oh th- we talk about stories at checkouts it happens quite often but excuse me excuse me uh yeah I, i've got to ask otherwise my son will never forgive me are you the singer from 1975 and can i have an autograph please <laughs> i said Oh, no, no, that's not me. She went, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Because then she went on to say, well, your profile is identical. You do look like him. I sent you a tweet. And they did. And then you sent a picture of Gandalf. Yeah, and you didn't even, <laughs> you, we've not even mentioned it. You didn't reply to it. Yeah, I didn't. did. I said, my tweet says, I love you, but I also hate you. I've never seen that. No, I've replied. Never seen it. Replied. Never seen it. He's uh, going to check his replies now. I'm not. Oh. That's pretty funny, man. I've got a similar story of that. Yeah? Yeah. Well, cool. uh, a friend from a few years ago, we, we was on a talent, one of those talent shows yeah. on TV. Yeah. And then uh, mm-hmm. he did quite well. And then we... Well uh, done. <laughs> <laughs> we were having dinner, quite a few of us, about Ooh. four or five of us in, in uh, Canary Wharf. Nice. Like, you know, um, I don't know the name of it. Like, just by Canary Wharf is like loads of restaurants. Ooh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and uh, we were having dinner on a Sunday, and this oh. this guy comes over his daughter and was like, "Excuse me," to the guy. He's yeah. like, "My daughter absolutely loves you. Can she have your autograph, please?" Yeah. At the time, I was in a band as well, <laughs> like a, a metal band. I had long hair. Yeah. And I looked like you know, <laughs> I looked like one of those guys. Of course, course, the daughter would love you. No, but it wasn't. But it I wasn't know. to me. It was to the guy. <laughs> Uh, like to the guys on the talent show yeah and autograph and then i was taking the photo and stuff and then because my, my mates were like like we've got to pretend 
that she hasn't known who we all are. Yeah. So we pretended that I was the lead singer of Kings of Leon. No. And he was, he was, and then, and then but my mates went, don't you want to autograph with, with this guy? And he was like, no, 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 it's fine. Like, it's fine. I'll, I'll be embarrassed like that. And he's like, he's, you know, you know who he is, don't you? He's like, yeah, yeah, I know who he is. <laughs> and I was like, it's the lead singer of Kings of Leon. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I love your music, man. And, like, and then, he, and then and then he proceeded to like started humming one of the songs. So no, it's good tune. It's good tune, man. Good tune. Like that. Yeah. <gasps> exact, the exact That's thing incredible. happened. incredible. But we used to do, we used to, this is awful. It makes me sound kind of vacuous. But we were in, do you know uh, Shaftesbury Avenue, the Mayflower Chinese restaurant? Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's open till like. Really late. Yeah. yeah. I think it's 24 hours. It but is. It's, it's, it's nice. It's not horrible food. Yeah. And there's they have a little room downstairs that if if they get overcrowded they put you in there. I've been in there. Yeah, so there's like six or seven of us, and it was. I've been in there with you as well. I think. Were you even here? Not for this story, but I have been with you in there. And uh, there's about six six or seven of us, and uh, we thought it would be really funny because most of the most I can't remember where we'd been, but most people are in a suit, and I was again I was in my band at the time, and uh, I. uh, forgot what you were yes, going to say, I what I gonna say. <laughs> so what we we thought would be really funny if they put like the tablecloths over my head oh no they all had oh shades no. and they put their finger up to the ear no. and was like get them out get them out and then they escorted <laughs> me out the whole building there were so many people taking photos and <gasps> the buzz of the place and then we stood outside because we had an Anderson Lee cab coming as well and they bundled me into the Anderson <laughs> Lee cab <laughs> And it was. Did you still br- have the blanket? Yeah, the over my head. Oh, amazing! It was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I've. It was. So, I could see through it because, like, it was like it was white, but yeah. it's quite clear. And there was so many people. All the staff, like, all the staff are Chinese, no. and they were like, it was the best thing that has ever happened to them. Oh, oh my god! Oh my this god! This is amazing. Like, it was so fun. I wish I was there. I know, man. The Josh and Jim Show. The Josh and Jim Show. Talking about that trampesque oh, yeah. uh, kind of look. Going back to Henley again. This is a very Henley themed podcast. That's not a nice word to the tramp. You can't say that. Can you not no. say tramp? Uh, Lady in the Tramp. Yeah. Okay. Charlie Tra- Charlie Chaplin Tramp. I've, yeah, I okay. associate it with lovely things. Okay. <laughs> then you can say it. Um, well, I was probably... Th- well, <laughs> I had to find some brogues for Henley and uh, to match my chinos. Because mm. uh, my black boots weren't going to do the job. And I found my brogues, and the heel of it at the back was just gone. It was just hanging by a thread. <laughs> just hanging by a thread. It wasn't gone, gone. I thought, do you know what fix this? Gaffer tape. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in Henley Steward enclosure <laughs> with a gaffer tape brogue. Oh, my God. Fixes everything. And a Primark tie. <laughs> I was literally with the royals thinking, I'm the only guy wearing Primark. You've undone Primark all key. your work of people of getting people to think that you're uh, really posh here. Yeah, well, gone. Gone. Adam West, Adam West, with Josh and Jess, Josh and Jess. Bong! Newsflash! Dun, dun, dun. Breaking news! Well, I was I was going for like the <laughs> London big announcement, you know, Sorry. like a it's bong. Right, it's starting again, starting again, starting again. Bong, and you went for the, you know, fucking <laughs> 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 trying to shout over me again. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I was just excited. It, was, it is excitable. Let's go, go for it. Okay, text. Text. Text from AQA. <laughs> text from AQA about us. We asked them, what did we ask them, Josh? Uh, we said, who... What is the Josh and Jez show? The Josh and Jez podcast is an entertaining and informative podcast <laughs> in which Josh and Jez, Jez, Jez engage in top quality banter. Oh, yeah. And discussion of various topics. I imagine the person who's written this is a failed contestant <laughs> from, from, uh, from The Apprentice. <laughs> That's all I can think. <laughs> Just sitting there behind yeah. a computer going, mm, FML. <laughs> But I, I need to say something. Top quality banter. I really top like... Top quality banter. I really like that. That's a review right there. I hate the word banter, though. It makes me feel uneasy and queasy. A bit of banter back and forth. No, it makes me think of like... Like rugger buggers. Rugby buggers? 
<laughs> rugger buggers. Have you never heard that expression? No, I've heard rugger boy, and that's talking about like a rugby boy, prep, preppy rugger boy. Rugby boy? I've <laughs> never heard that before. Oh, look, here comes the rugger. Oh, it's the rugby boy. <laughs> oh, look at all the rugby boys. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. That's rugby boy in procession walking down the road. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Here come the ruggers, rugger, rugger, ruggers. Can you tell what's me when rugger? to say school for his entire <laughs> life? Oh, the boys doing physical sport. <laughs> I'm just going to put my little jock strap on and go away. And plie. Hey, Josh. Yeah. What does rugger buggers mean? It's like a group of lads. Yeah. Who are like, <laughs> loud and drink, you know, everyone drinks out of a shoe. And then they, you know, <laughs> like big boots, wellington boots. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That's very and, boisterous. And you think of banter. And they would say, banter. Let's have some banter. Yeah. 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 Top Ooh, banter. Neck nomination. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Twat. Like the antithesis of us. Yes. Yeah. Um, but top quality banter. I definitely have never read that in a tag for our podcast. That means no. someone's listened. Like you said, I think someone's listened to this. Yeah. And then get text us. I wonder what would happen if we text them and say, is the Josh and Jess show really terrible? If they'd agree or not. That's interesting mm. because they want... I don't know actually. I don't know they, where to they would because they if it's a bloke or or a, or a lady man. It's a goblin. Harry if goblin. it's if it's a bloke in a studio, like in in an office, I mean. Yeah. And uh, they're thinking we want to please the person who's text in. Mm-hmm. They'll be thinking this person thinks it's terrible, mm-hmm. so we're going to side with them. Or would they be thinking, you know, is it an accurate thing? Mm-hmm. This is this is what I want to say. I want th- I want the listeners to. Uh, do it. Text it. That's what exactly what I was going to say. Uh. I don't want to pay £2.50. Because we've got the free text. Because <laughs> we've done our one. You get one free text. So if none, no one's ever uh, sent a message to them, you can get the first one free. What's it called, Josh? Uh, if you just put any question, question, any, bloody hell, <laughs> any question answered into, into Google, into Googly, Googly, then uh, you'll, it'll come up. Yeah. And just text what they're texting. Is the Josh and Jess show terrible? Yeah. Or is the Josh and Jess show terrible or brilliant? On, a, on another note, though, if it is terrible, don't tell us. <laughs> yeah, don't tell and us. And if they say, if they all say terrible, just say that they said it was brilliant. Yeah, say it's brilliant. Because uh, I don't think we can take it. You two and hey, welcome to the Josh and Jazz Show. Josh, is it that time? It's that time. I'm really excited. When we do the alternate, alternate, and I still haven't made a jingle. You're playing with your uh, your googlies again. Sorry, my toggles on my <laughs> it's shorts. Freaking me out. <laughs> Sorry, it's the same shorts. Are those your podcast? These are my shorts. podcasting shorts. These are. Are my... they actually? Yeah. That's weird, mate. Have you washed them? Yeah. No. Oh. But they only get worn in the podcasting. So yeah, get... but you know, <laughs> it gets hot in here. <laughs> It's getting it's hot in here, so, <laughs> so put take your special shorts, shorts on. <laughs> <laughs> I am getting so hot, I'm going to put my shorts on. <laughs> Go, on. <laughs> Go on, let's do it, I'm excited. Oh, right, alternate ending. Yeah. Um, and what I'd like, this is a shorter one. Okay. Uh, you might need to listen to it twice. Okay. Let's just get, fill it in whilst I find it on the thing, Josh. You said this last time and then you didn't let me talk for very long. Should I tell a joke? I don't really have any jokes. Right, you ready? Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Sorry, mate. I've got, I've got to go. My alarm was going off. <laughs> <laughs> what was what went was it, on? What was going on there? Was it Edward Scissorhands? Yes. Oh yes. yes! What I gave it, it away? What gave it away? From the yeah. and the, the the music. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. So Tim Burtony. But what, and there was also some background noise of people. I saw you smile and you got it when yeah. you heard some people. Yeah. I and they were like going, was. oh, no, oh, no, not, oh, it's just not right. Yeah, because he's like a social yeah, outcast. A, yes. But in the end, does he actually become the old human? No. Well, no, what happened? I can't remember what happens in the film, though. That's the Oh, in, in the film, uh, he um, he is timeless because he is a creation of a man. So I've he doesn't die. And uh, he's doing ice sculptures. At the top of oh spoiler, it's ice got back in his castle, and the old lady Winona is it Winona Ryder? Yeah, yeah. Who's telling the story? It's an old grandma, and she's dancing in the snow of his 
ice. So it's kind of like a, ha- I don't know if it's a happy ending. He's still making ice sculptures at the top of the hill. But in my ending, mm. what could you hear? Well, the alarm went off. Yeah. He woke up. Yeah. And then there was a realize, like a, a surprise realization of, I've, my, I've not got scissors on my hands anymore. Yeah, just a dream. <laughs> it's oh, one of those just terrible cop out endings. Like lost. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was gonna do like it. That, that was gonna be next week, but I'm not gonna do that now. It's gonna be. Whoa, I could do. Oh, I was gonna lost. say I could do. I could do the theme tune. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Previously, I'm lost. Yes, and then it would have just gone. <sighs> Did you watch? You watch Game of Thrones, don't you? You love Game of you Thrones. You know when Missandria? Careful. That's fine. Who gives a fuck? Right. You know when Missandria, uh, the 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 redheaded lady, the witch, she gets pregnant and gives yeah. birth yeah mate that was the black smoke from lost from lost he was back love a crossover yeah <laughs> brilliant <laughs> it's the josh and josh show yeah oh so, yeah it's that time we're gonna go time to wrap it up we're wrapping it up episode seven i think that's quite good isn't it what that we've done seven? I think that's amazing. We've made a commitment and we've stuck to it. We, we, yeah, that's very impressive. Yeah, yeah. I think we should get some sort of Sony award. I think we should. How many more listeners? How many more should we do? Yeah, how many more listeners? How many more? <laughs> <laughs> how many more should we do? <laughs> I just think we should do as many as. I well. think we should do as as many as we can before Trevi explodes. <laughs> about three, four, or five more. I yeah, think. about three. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Bye. <laughs>